Assalamu alaikum dear viewers you are watching Al Khalif TV first news is from Turkey Erdogan defends testing Russian S400 shrugs of US criticism President Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Friday confirmed Turkey's first test of a controversial Russian missile defense system as he dismissed criticism by the United States He says that it's true about the tests why have been done and will continue in future He told reporters in Istanbul on Friday a week after reports emerged of the Turkish army conducting a test firing of the S400 systems He says that we are not going to ask America for permission the US State Department and Pentagon had responded furiously to reports of the test State Department spokeswoman Morgan Outridge said last Friday that if confirmed Washington would consider them incompatible with Turkey's responsibilities as a NATO ally and strategic partner of the United States. Washington says Ankara's purchase of Russian S400 system compromises NATO defense and has threatened sanctions. It should be remembered that Turkey faces sanctions under a 2017 law known as Katsa which mandates sanctions for any significant purchases of weapons from Russia Last year the United States suspended Turkey from its F35 jet program During a visit to Turkey earlier this month NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg reiterated that the system could not be integrated into the alliance air and missile defense system However, Ankara accuses Washington of failing to sell the U.S.'s competing Patriot missile systems and has pointed to its security needs while justifying buying the Russian system. Turkey signed the S-400 deal with Russia in 2017, deliveries of the first four missile batteries worth $2.5 billion began in July 2019. Now let's move to Beijing. China says US bullying countries to pick sides. China says the United States is bullying other countries to pick sides over their ties to Beijing after a senior Washington official called on Sri Lanka to make difficult but necessary choices in an apparent references to China deepening its influence over the South Asian country. In a news conference on Friday, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Xiao Jihan said such efforts by the US administration against Beijing would not succeed dismissing the comments as showing a cold war mentality. The US is urging Sri Lanka to make the difficult but necessary choices to secure its economic independence for long-term prosperity instead of choosing opaque practices. Dean Thompson, Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary at State Department's Bureau of South and Central Asian Affairs, said on Thursday.